just a little tutorial on uh, how to use Picasa 3. So what we're going to do is uh, just Google Picasa and it'll be the first link and then just download it. And then after that, um, open it up, depending on where you save the shortcut, it's usually on the desktop. And then when you first open it, it's going to ask you to find all the pictures on your computer or just the My Documents and My Pictures folders. Um, <clears throat> I just set it to scan the whole computer because, you know, depending on where you save the pictures, it may not find all of them. So, uh, just a few things. It's going to um, organize it by folders by date. So, like here, 2008, and then it goes further back in time is more at the bottom and then the newest is at the top and uh, you can also organize it by tree which is you know what folder is in which folder or you can just do each folder individually too and uh, this button is to capture it with the webcam if you have one and uh, these filters right here you can select star photos which is if you have a picture that you think is really nice you can just click on it and then down here it's the star icon and you hit add star and it'll start for you and then you can sort it by stars so it'll only display the ones that you've starred and then just hit view all this is uploads that you've uploaded to the web album after you set up your Google account. These are with faces and these are just the movies. So uh, to import just hit import and then from select device just select whatever camera that you have plugged in or SD card and then it'll show up all the pictures right here and then just hit import all and then uh, select what picture folder that you want to put them in and then for the editing you just open it double click to open up a picture and then you can crop it or straighten it if you have like a horizon that isn't straightened or red eye fix contrast fill light make it brighter and you can sharpen it in black and white and all that cool stuff and uh, down here you can tag it so I can say like flags and then add that tag and then when I go up here to the search I can just search flags and then it'll bring up the tag that I just made which makes it easier to find things you can just type in like a whole folder and then it'll give you the folder that has that name so you can find stuff easier and right here is the date range filter and to slide it it goes further back in time and you can sort it by the number of days how old the pictures are or months or weeks or stuff like that and here is the the crop and the, or the rotate and the star all those and here is the zoom slide you zoom in and out and histogram that has all the information about the camera and then down here are the the buttons so like if you pick three photos you just select print and then you can choose what size you want you can make them all like three by five or five by eights or or five by sevens or you know whatever you want and then it'll send it to the printer and right here the web albums just uh, make up a Google account if you don't have one or if you do you can just log in and then next to each folder if it's if it's already online on the web album it'll show you a little circle that says which one and it'll be a globe on the pic on the folder 
if it has it on the album. And then up here is the synchronize, so it'll, like if I change this folder, or this picture and make it brighter, and then save it to the disc. And then it'll synchronize that picture to the album because I just changed it. So it'll always be current with the ones that are on your computer as opposed to the ones that are on the album, which is really nice. And up here in tools, uh, you can add a watermark to your online photos. Like I'll, I'll show you right here. Hit view online and then it'll take you to the album that you just uploaded. And then if you click on a picture, it'll have your watermark. If you want to put it on, you can put your initials or your name or just, you know, whatever you want. And then to get to that, just hit options and then web albums. And then you can add a watermark or make it visibility if you don't want people to see it or if you want to make it public so everyone can see it. Then up here is the upload size. You can do original, which is the most. It'll fill up your album faster, or you can do smaller, which makes it you know smaller, and you can put more pictures on the same album. Uh, right here is a slideshow, kind of like Windows Movie Maker. You can just put all your pictures together on a slideshow, and you can add music and stuff like that. And right here, you can sort the folders. I sorted it by creation date, but you can sort it by size. So you could have like the folder with the most photos at the top, or you can do it by name too, if you like that better. And right here, are these buttons, you can play a slideshow with this. That was at the band banquet. You can make a collage which puts all the pictures in in like a random order and then you can use this to like make one bigger or you can move them around and make them like sideways and stuff like that. Or you can put them all like together as one in all different sizes. You can just do whatever you want and then you can print this one or make it your background on your desktop. And down here is the the thumbnail size, so you can slide this to make the thumbnails bigger, and then you'll see less at a time. And then if you move it over, it'll make more and more view, so you can go through more without having to scroll a lot, which helps a lot if you have a lot of photos. And you can do like small thumbnails and things like that. And then um, if you want to send a file, you can just hit email and then it'll just bring up which one you want to use to email. Or you can also email the album link for the online album.